Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Happy Tuesday. Start of our week. 2017 Bowman Draft Jumbo Edition. We're doing four boxes. Half case, Ram Team, break number 31. We've done a lot of these. From jazbeeshobbyland.com. The second half, already sold out, so it'll be happening right after this separate video. All right, so big thanks to these folks here. Uh, so a couple combo teams. Orioles, Cubs are comboed, and the Cardinals and Nationals are comboed. We'll randomize each list. One and a six, seven times. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After seven times, we have Dave Barrows on the pole, and he is on the 28th spot as well. Speaking of pole position, Daytona's this Sunday, isn't it? Seven for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and and a one, seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got the Mets on top and the Reds on the bottom, the 28 spot. So here's how it shakes out. Dave Barros, you have the Mets. D-Mac, you have the Orioles-Cubs combo. Barros with the Yankees. Karen, you got the Red Sox. Big Boys 007, Indians for you. Barros, you got the Rays and the Twins. Mike Kuntz with the San Francisco Baseball Giants. Barros with the Brew Crew and the Pirates. Josh York with the Diamondbacks. Rich, you got the Tigers. Dave Barrows with the Braves. Josh, you got my Dodgers. Landon with the Tiger. R Tigers? Texas Rangers. Just I saw a T and I just said Tiger. Dave Barrows with the Phillies and the Padres. Rich with the Marlins. EA with the Angels and Astros. Joe with the Blue Jays. Chicago White Sox for Karen. Corey K with the Mariners. Lee, you got the Royals. Rex with the Last Bond Mojo. Rockies. Sam with the Cardinals Nationals combo team. EA with the A's. And Dave Barrows with the Reds. Let's sort by team. Uh, Josh York is asking, are the Diamondbacks and Dodgers good to have in this product? Um, Diamondbacks are. They've got some top draft picks. Remember, this is all, all draft picks, so they, they've, got, they've got a higher draft pick than this set, like a top 10 pick, I think. I think Paven Smith is in the top 10. Dodgers do have Mitchell White, I believe, in this product, who's already cracked the Baseball America Top 100, but I don't know how well he does value-wise. The the, uh, the sort of humble brag is that the Dodgers have just been too good to get top draft picks. So I don't know, and I don't think there's any, like, vet autos in here, or, like, I'm pretty sure they might have some second-year player autos. But I don't know if, like, is Cody Bellinger a chance here? I always confuse this with so many other sets. Draft. There's got to be like a... I'm sure there's Bellinger in this. As like a future stars or a second year player autograph. No, maybe not. Yeah, no Cody Bellinger. Yeah, they, yeah, they've got they've uh, yes, Rich. They've got Wong in here too. Connor Wong is in here, and uh, Morgan Cooper is in here too. Absolutely, Card Crush. Yeah, Boma Draft, great and whole product. Absolutely, we've done thirty-one of these. The crew knows. The crew knows the deal. You never know who's going to blow. You could get a Reese Hoskins in there. Remember, people want to trade Aaron Judge. You know, like after his first like cup of coffee. So a lot of crazy stuff. So no one's trading? Indians for Giants, maybe? Mike Coons? Otherwise, we'll just go. I don't think anyone else is actually trading. Yeah, Giants do have Heliot Ramos. I'm surprised that they they I'm surprised that they didn't they were able to keep him with all the trades that they made in the offseason. Royals are for trade as well, by the way. Oh, while everyone's trading, how about I... I want to figure... We pop this open and we'll see which half we're going to do. Yeah, Payman Smith would be the, the, the Diamondback to look for. I believe he is a, a top 10 pick. Seventh overall, maybe?
All right, so there's four boxes on top, four boxes on the bottom. We'll just roll the die. We'll see uh, one, two, three for the top, four, five, six for the bottom. Good luck, boxes. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do the bottom. We'll save this for the next break, which is already filled up. I'll mark those 32 for break 32. This will be for break 31. All right, last chance for trades. Cards and uh, cards and ats for trade. I think we're just gonna have to go, Sam. I'm sorry. So, uh, some trade chatter, but not a lot of trades being done. TWC means trade window close. That list stands the way it looks now on your screen. We'll even print it out for you too. Toner update. It's new, brand new. Popped it in last, what, Friday, Saturday? It was, a, it was a momentous occasion in Jaspi history. It's glorious. All right, good luck, everybody. Here is the official printout, hot off the presses. All right there, break 31. Everyone knows who they have, it's the same. There we go, let's get a move on. Get comfortable here, get settled in. Just as a reminder, you're looking for three chrome autographs inside. Uh, paper base doesn't ship. I think everyone knows that by now, right? We've done 31 of these. We're about to do 31 of these. Paper base doesn't ship, everything else does. here. Good luck, everybody. We'll pop all these packs open first. Um, you know what? I, I was always like, I should have set this up before. I always like having uh, the MLB draft results up from 2017. Just so I can let you know where all these guys were drafted, etc, etc, etc. All right. Um, so not much happening in the baseball world, folks. We have pitchers and catchers reporting today, maybe, actually, this week. But the, the, the biggest news is you Darvish being signed by the Cubs, but all the other big free agents, nothing. Slow offseason. That's been the talk of the uh, that's been the talk of the town, the baseball town. Oh, yesterday and today. Pitchers and catchers reporting. Yesterday and today. But not much movement on that free. Where's Where's JD Martinez gonna go? Where's Jake Arrieta gonna go? You know. Where is Has Hosmer? I don't think I don't think any of those Royals guys have been moved yet. So there's that. I mean, it's gotten to the point. There's been so so little movement that the MLB Players Association. If I can get this last pack open. MLB Players Association is going to have like a free agent spring training camp just so they can stay stay loose. So not mu not much happening. Is everyone just waiting for next? I know the Dodgers for sure. It's just all it's all about it's all about luxury tax for them. They want to get they're under the threshold. They want to stay under that threshold this year, so the penalties reset. I think that's their big thing. A little bit of coffee. And we'll go. All right. Well, good luck, everybody. So we'll breeze through this paper, right? Because we're not shipping that. We'll go a little bit slowly on these. We're going to start off with a twin, Brent Rooker. Refractor auto for Dave Barrows and the twins. Out of $4.99 on that. Your 35th overall pick. So 
Uh, this is more paper, which will kind of fly through. Oh, a little orange coming up. Orange? It's Nate, Nate Pearson. Blue Jays. That'll be for Joe Fagundis with the orange. 10 out of 25. I like the orange. There's uh, Regicidal's brother, Mitch. It's fake news, but we'll pretend. <laughs> Lee has said Lee has said that if this guy ever makes it to the majors, he'll get his jersey. Less his last name, obviously. Connor Siebold. Seventy out of two fifty, a man of the sea. Purple paper goes to the Phillies, EA with the Phillies. Lee saying that the Nate Pearson is a great stash. He's got a hundred hundred mile per hour fastball. Jeez. There's Blake Rutherford for the White Sox. One seventy three out of two hundred. Shy Sox that goes to uh, Karen. One seventy three out of two hundred. Josh York saying, uh, you have a one-of-one one Bowman Chrome Auto of Alex Reyes. When should you sell after he wins the Rookie of the Year this year? <laughs> he was poised to be like a, a big breakout possibility, big breakout candidate last year before he went down with a uh, Tommy John. Did he have Tommy John? I forget what it was, some sort of elbow surgery, probably Tommy John. Um, but should be back this year stronger, better than ever maybe? Allegedly. But he's supposed to be the hot pitching prospect for the Cardinals. I think that's why that's why you saw the all the baseball products load up on him. It was Tommy Johnson's J Cone. Yeah, so that's why you saw all the baseball products load up on Alex Reyes. And then now and for people who aren't super uh, you know, deep into the prospects coming up, that's for the Brewers, that's for uh, Dave Barrows. They're just like, oh, now I end up with a bunch of Alex Reyes autographs. Who is this guy? You know, and I'm I, and I've been trying to tell everybody, hey, you know, Alex Reyes, big breakout candidate, blah 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 blah. So. Oh, may even close if Gregerson falters. He, interesting. Might ease him, ease him back in. But his. His long-term projection is always starter, right? Frontline starter. There's Tyler Ivey. Out of 999, <laughs> always Joe P. That goes to the Astros. That goes to EA. Oh, Joe P, you like this stuff. This, this, is, this is the good stuff right here. And um, I'm pretty sure the Cardinals did not re-sign the, the, the Korean kid, right? The Korean closer. I think he went somewhere else. I forget where he signed with. We've got, I've heard of this guy, Royce Lewis, who was apparently signing these cards in a car. <laughs> I've seen, Dave Barrows. There you go, Dave Barrows. 56 out of 75. Royce Lewis, that's your number one overall pick. Out of 75. This is nice. Dave Barrows. That, that probably paid for all the 10 spots, I think, that you purchased here. So you're even now. <laughs> oh, chin up, Lee. Come on now. <laughs> Lee's like, I'll bet I'll get, I'll bet I'll get the twins in the next half. And then I'll just pull another Royce Lewis then. There's Logan Warmoth. 
That uh, goes to the Blue Jays. That'll be for Joe Fagundes. What does this go for? What do you think this goes for, you guys? Someone look this up. Out of 75? I think, like, the base autos go for, like, 400 bucks, right? A few hundred bucks? Hey, hey, no worries, Dave Barrows. This is a good way to start off the week. And we've got green paper, 74 out of 99 for the tribe. That'll be for uh, the other David, David Harrell, Big Boys 007. And then just paper after that. All right, so strong start. Yeah, Logan, what, what was Logan? They must have been signing in the car together. <laughs> they're, they're signing in the car. Uh, oh, there we go. So Lee's saying that, that's, that the Royce Lewis is probably an $800 card. Right there is fine. Thank you. Probably an $800 card. Base autos are 100 bucks a card. Refractor autos, so about 150 That sounds about right. That's pretty strong. There you go, Dave. Congrats. Yeah, the twins can twins can relax. Well, who do you have? Oh, you have the Royals in this one. All right, we'll have to find you some Royals then. All right, Joe P. Yeah, Barros, I think yeah, I think you did okay. I think that Dave Barros, I think that that might have covered both of your uh, both of your breaks. 31 and 30, all the spots you bought in 31 and 32. The Royce was indeed a black refractor. I think Rory picked up a Royce Lewis recently. We have not seen, uh, <laughs> Chopi's just jealous, he doesn't like it. Um, Okay, so Rory's saying it's a little bit, he says it's 450 to 500-ish, just raw. So it, may, it might be worth grading, Dave Barrows. Yeah, it's Joe, Joe's P saying, yeah, graded maybe. Riley, any football soon? No. <laughs> we've got this break to do that we're doing right now. Then we've got another one of these coming up. But uh, after closer to maybe... 6.45 West Coast time. We should be ready to fill another break. And hopefully, we, we could probably shift gears to football. There's Quentin Holmes, purple chrome for the Cleveland Indians. That's, that's fake news, Joe P. Come on now. Out of 250. Got the hands of a poker dealer, Joe P. Both, both a firm but light touch on these cards. This is, been doing this. Well, I've been playing cards forever. Eight hours a night for a few years or more. I think I know how to handle a card or two, Joe P. Watch, I drop the next card. That'll be just my luck. Hubris. All right. 289 out of 399. Luis Ortiz for the Brew Crew. Dave Barrows with the parallel. Big Rig, what's going on? I don't know, Joe P. Sometimes I get I do get hands like Amari Cooper, but usually they're um, usually they're top loaded, and then I'm like, whoops. 
this is a rubber mat right here too, folks. So <laughs> if I'm like drunk or something, then I'm kidding. I don't do that, but not during work. But this is a padded mat right here too, so it also helps in case there's any mistakes. Come on, are are you? Big Rig is saying that Eric Hosmer is waiting for an eight or nine year contract at one hundred eighty seven million. Really? How old is Eric Hosmer? Is Eric Hosmer worth eight or nine years? He's twenty eight. I mean, I guess. Huh. More paper right here. Is he a Boris client? Taylor Walls, 220 out of 499. Taylor Walls for the Rays, that'll go to uh, Dave Barrows. Uh, Michael House, yes, I did see Chloe Kim win the gold medal. In the half pipe. She's a Southern California kid. Yeah, so lo local news is freaking out. She's young too. She'll probably be winning gold medals for, for a little while. You know, barring any injury. There's Gavin Sheets for the White Sox. Son of Larry Sheets, Karen. I know because every time I, I every time I see this guy, I always think he's Ben Sheets' kid. No, Larry Sheets' kid. Yeah, she's from Torrance. She's like right down the street. No, she's in South Korea right now, but where she grew up is right down the street. We got Will Benson, two eighteen out of two fifty. Two eighteen out of two fifty, right here. There you go. The next stack, right here. And he, oh, he is a Boris Klein. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. I mean, he, Scott Boris is is really holding out big time. On a lot of these things, he, I mean, I don't know if he's, is he worried? Is Scott, I'd like to get into Scott Boris. Said his offices are in Orange County. I could just drive down there. Be like, Scott, what do you think? What's going on? And there's Ryan Vallad. There you go. Rex, last spot mojo, Rockies. Rex is saying, I can tell you right now. Rex, come on now, big sexy, Bartolo Colon. Rex is saying, is it just me or is it insane to say a pitcher is old at 31? I mean, why don't we see Nolan Ryans anymore? Bartolo Colon is like Nolan Ryan, Rex. Jamie Moyer pitched for a long time too. Connor Siebold out of 200, 200 out of 200 for uh, Dave Barrows and the Phillies. But the real reason is, um, well, the real reason is what Lee just said, what Regicidal just said. The game's just changed. People are throwing like with max effort now, maximum velocity. And so it's less about, you know, like longevity in the sense of what Nolan Ryan is. That's why you see a lot more arm trouble too. 75 out of 200, Andy Ibanez. Seventy-five out of two fifty. Purple Chrome for the Rangers. That'll go to Landon.
And you're also comparing, you know, people to freaks of nature like Nolan Ryan. I mean, that's just, he's just genetically, like, gifted. So that's also not fair to, to expect everyone to be Nolan Ryan. 14 out of 399. That's uh, Anderson Tejeda for the Rangers. That'll go to Landon. And the rest is just paper. There you go. Two boxes to go halfway through this half case break. <laughs> why are more people? Why aren't more basketball players like Michael Jordan? I mean, that's not fair to say, right? Why aren't more baseball? Why aren't more pitchers like Nolan Ryan? Why can't they just pitch like eight innings a game, throw a bunch of no hitters? You know, can pitch in Texas with that heat and humidity, you know, and have 5,000 strikeouts in his career, blah, blah. Yeah, I think I agree with Rich. I think Nolan Ryan is a robot. That's what that's what the big story is, Rex. Is that is that when uh when they finally when they finally shut down Nolan Ryan, they're gonna realize that he's a cyborg. And that's gonna be the biggest scandal in baseball history. Next box. Good luck, everybody. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. Breeze through this paper. And there's Luis. Campusano for the Padres. That goes to Dave Barros and the Friars. Next up. No, I think Box is fine. No, Michael House was referring to MH was referring to the amount of uh, the amount of booze that he has on a beers that he had on a single flight. For the Diamondbacks, Josh York and the D-backs, Anthony Greer, eighty-eight out of one fifty. Right, yeah, that episode in front the box episode in Solly Sunny is pretty great too. No, Boggs is still with us, he's fine. Uh two one oh nine out of three ninety nine. Buddy Reed. Boss Hog, right, Mike Tower. Uh, that that that's a pretty classic episode. Paper, breeze through that paper. Drew Waters out of four ninety nine. That goes to the Braves, that'll be for Dave Barrows.
And we've got, for the Marlins, Riley Mahan. For the Marlins, that goes to Rich. There you go, Rich. 128 out of 150. Alec Hansen, 152 out of 250, purple, for the White Sox, Karen. One fifty two out of two fifty. DL Hall, one fifty seven out of four ninety nine. Orioles paper, one of Darren McKenzie. Paper right here. And Seth Corey for the Giants refractor autograph. That goes to the Giants, Mike Koontz with that refractor autograph out of four ninety nine. Luis Ortiz, Brewers, 46 out of 250. That goes to Dave Barros. And the Brew Crew. Eloy Jimenez, Blue Chrome. That goes to the White Sox. That'll be for Karen. 46 out of 150. Paper. Royce Lewis. And then the rest of this should be paper. I see a, a little debate in the um, in the chat about salaries. Here's what I here's here's what I think. I think that oh, box hopper, nice. I mean, I think a player is entitled to earn and and get as much as he wants to. You know what I mean? I think relative to what the owner, the owners make, what the league makes, you know, I think, uh, and if you have the, the leverage to get as much money as possible, I think you do it. And it's also, you can't really compare it to, to us. I mean, if it's me, yeah, I'm taking, if I'm Eric Hosmer, you know, just a regular dude. Yeah, of course, every, you're going to look at Eric Hosmer quibbling between 150 and 158, you know, as like, come on, man, you're quibbling over $8 million. But it's all relative to current salaries and other baseball players. You know what I mean? The Players Association doesn't want him to undervalue, you know, to undervalue his own salary. They don't want him to do that. So they're encouraging to take as much as possible. And relative to other players of his caliber, you know, he is, uh, he wants to get paid what he thinks is commensurate with his experience and the stats that he has provided. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I mean, anything can happen, right? So, so uh, you know, you could, you're thinking of worst case scenario, Josh. Anything can happen, right? Eric Hosmer can fall down and break his collarbone. Or 
Eric Hosmer cannot fall down and ball out with a massive contract. <laughs> that is just as likely too. We've seen a lot of players bet on themselves with like one year deals and uh, and just play incredibly well. How many times has, has LeBron James been on one or two year contracts? He's not worried. But, you know, it's, it's, it's life. Yeah, but who are we to say what's enough for what he, for what he deserves? Because you're, you're saying that, hey, he, you have 150 is enough. You know what I mean? But he's like, I'm worth 158. That's what he's saying. So why undervalue yourself? Why, why say if, if a boss came to you and, and, and you said, hey, I should make 100K a year, you know, and the boss says, nah, you'll be fine with 80K. Don't worry, Josh York. Just plan better and you'll be fine with 75K. Would you accept it? I wouldn't because I know I'm valued at 100K. 427 out of 499, Tyler Freeman, paper. It's the same thing that Hosmer's going through. It's about not undervaluing yourself. Because the second you do that, then, you've, then you'll continue to undervalue yourself at least business-wise for Hosmer for the rest of his career. It's like, well, you took less last time. Why not this? Clearly, you didn't think you were worth 158, so that's why they paid you 150. Oh, nice, Brendan McKay. Pitcher edition. That is strong. That goes to Joe Fagundis. No, sorry, Dave Barrows. And come on, Dave Barrows, really? Royce Lewis and Brandon McKay? Come on. 96 out of 250. <laughs> I've made it clear to the boss man, Rex, that I want to make as much money as possible. <laughs> Andy Abanez, 379 out of 399. That goes to the Rangers. That goes to Landon. We'll just have to find super fractures in the second half, Lee. That's it. I don't know when it when it comes to when it comes to uh, when it comes to salary stuff for players. I always think that. Um, I'm always on the player side. I, I, I think players are actually getting underpaid compared to the amount of money that, that teams make. All the teams and owners will cry poor, but they're not. If, they're, if, 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 baseball, if owning a baseball team, if owning a professional franchise was such bad business, why isn't everyone selling those teams all the time? They're not because they actually do make money off of it. Players are actually probably getting underpaid. Bubba Thompson... Rangers, what are my thoughts on the Blue Jays? They're kind of in a weird no man's land, Storm Slugger. Landon with the Rangers. Um, I think that they are uh, in a no man's land because they've got or a lot of great young players coming up the ranks, but then they've got some aging players there too. And I think that's the... Uh, I think that's the issue. And you've got a lot in and AL East is pretty tough too. Jacob Hayward. So it's gonna be a difficult I think the Blue Jays are gonna be good this season, but it's gonna be difficult for them to really make some headway. I think they're kind of waiting. There's forty out of two hundred. I think they're kind of waiting on um, on some of those young players like Bo Bichette, Vlad Guerrero Jr., etc., to kinda of get to kinda of to kind of get up into the majors and kind of develop that young core of that team. Blue Jays look pretty good though, farm system wise. That's encouraging.
There's Taylor Walls, 12 out of 25. Well, as for as for Hosmer, I think it's it's not it's not my place to to tell him what he thinks he should accept or not. If he thinks he deserves 158, then that's what he wants. You know, if he doesn't think he's valid at 150, then that's he doesn't take that. I think far be it for me to tell someone what he should think he should be valued at or not. Nice Dylan Busby, gold. No, I know, but I mean, like, I'm saying, I, I don't think that that I don't think it's I don't think he's being greedy. I guess is what I'm coming down to. Twelve out of fifty pirates, gold. Dave Barrows, he did buy a lot of spots in this break, folks. What up, Scott? It looks like that's it for the autographs. Let's see if there's any parallels we have here. Oh, one more green. And that's, we started with Brent. I think we end with Brent. 15 out of 99. And there you have it. Oh, we got a box hopper. I forgot about the box hopper. Are these autographs sometimes, the box hoppers? Have we gotten an, I don't remember. Have we gotten an autograph box hopper? Right. Auto sometimes. Use this right here. What's up, J Mac? Yeah, there there were some big hits. We got a Royce Lewis and a Brendan McKay autograph. I'm gonna use this so I don't mess up our rubber mat here. All right. Good luck, everybody. We have a Philly, and it's autographed. I called it. Sorcery. Adam Hazley for the Phillies. Box topper auto. And that is number 31 out of 35. Philadelphia Phillies. Well, guess what? It's Dave Barrows. He bought a ton of spots in this break, and they all seem to hit. Uh, I think Hazley was a, a top 10 pick. Yeah, number 8 overall in 2017. So there you go. Second half from jazbeeshobbyland.com coming up right after this. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.